this is probably going to be the, and I'm going to say this at this table, the most pro-black president that we've had in our lifetime. So had that asked me, I would have said, you know, before you praise this president for being pro-black, before you praise this president for caring about ethnic communities and marginalized populations, do your homework. Well, some of y'all didn't do your homework. They didn't do their homework. So let me tell you just a little bit of research, not just him personally, but also some of his policies. Perhaps before they went and sat at this table, they should have done their homework. Because if they had done their homework, they would have known that President Trump has ramped up mass incarceration by instructing Attorney General Jeff Sessions to revive idolize the war on drugs. They would have known that of the 87 picks for federal judges, 85 have been white and just one has been black and one has been Hispanic. They would have known that President Trump supported the Department of Justice engaging in unlawful voter purges, making it difficult for blacks to go and vote. They would have known that Trump is ending protection for predatory lenders, which disproportionately harm black people. They would have known that he is ignoring the affordable housing crisis by ordering HUD to triple the rents of poor tenants in public housing, which mostly affect black people. Do your homework. They would have known that he is proposing cutting $200 billion over the next 10 years from supplemental nutrition assistance programs that will bring more hunger in black and brown communities. They would have known that Trump is worsening the health of black communities through environmental deregulation which disproportionately harms black people through exposure to pollution. Now that's just a few on the policy side but you don't have to go too far to ask what about him personally would make me know that he is not pro-black. I'm glad you asked because in 1970 Trump's real estate company tried to avoid renting apartments to black tenants and gave preferential treatment to white tenants. He began his 2016 presidential campaign with a speech disparaging Mexican immigrants as criminals and rapists. Y'all remember that? In 2016, he said of people of color, you are living in poverty, your schools are no good, you have no jobs. Hold on, I'm a product of HBCU and I'm a product of black school systems and black teachers. Don't you ever tell me that my black schools are Hold on, I ain't done. He says you have no jobs, so what do you have to lose from electing me? In 2017, Trump said 15,000 recent immigrants from Haiti all have AIDS and 40,000 Nigerians once seeing the United States would, ne would want to go back to their huts in Africa. He spent years suggesting that the nation's first black president was not a citizen of these United States. He called Puerto Ricans, whose critics criticized his administration's response to Hurricane Maria. He called them politically motivated ingrates. Hold on, but he called those who marched beside white supremacists in Charlottesville, Virginia, he called them very fine people. He hired Steve Bannon, a white nationalist, as his chief strategist. He called Haiti and other African nations s-hole countries, and he's taking credit for an economy that has not been built on his administration, but was built on the backs of eight years of hard work under the Obama administration. Negroes, please, don't you come up in here talking about this is the most pro-black president that you have ever seen when the record suggests that he cares nothing about people of color.